Brendan Quinn, the Irish criminal. Yeah, fasc- fascinating guy. Um, that was one of my lockdown books that I, that I helped put together. Um, I was approached by Brendan um, via a, a, a mutual friend, again, uh, via Stephen Sayers. Paul Ferris also spoke highly of them. They'd all spent time together in Franklin Prison. Um, and to be honest, I didn't really know anything about them. Um, all I was told was that he needed help with a book and would I speak to him? Because I hadn't heard of his story, I was, you know, curious, but always reluctant to say yes until I know what the story is. Because, you know, when you're a true crime publisher, then you get inundated with requests. I've got this story. I've got this great story. I want to tell it. And you're just the man to do it. Well, yeah, hold on a minute. There's there's a process here. A, it's got to be a good story. B, it's got to be factual. C, you've got to be able to back it up. You know, D, I, haven't, I, I can't be sued for it. Uh, E, I don't want any repercussions. I don't want people turning up at my door. And, and F, it's got to sell. Do you know what I mean? Because G, I'm the one who's got to put the money up and get it printed and done and get it out there. And I've got to spend the money on getting it edited. And, you know, or if I've got to write the book, I'm the one who's got to sit down with you and, and do it, you know? So you need to get a feel for people. You need to make sure that you can work with them. This guy came very well recommended by two people who I respect in Paul Ferris and Stephen Sears. And that was it. That was where the journey started. It um, it became a, a labour of love, to be honest, because once you read his story, it's fascinating. And the book only touches, it only scratches the surface of Brendan Quinn's life. It concentrates on his time in the Dutch prisons, really. That, that's the stories you want to read. He escaped from two maximum security Dutch prisons. <laughs> and why was he in those Dutch prisons? Because he was a prolific armed robber um, who essentially got caught um, not not before he took hostages and was all over the national television. Uh, that doesn't whet your appetite for reading the book. I don't know what will, but it's a fascinating story. He became a celebrity in in the you know in the Dutch system because of the fact that he escaped not just from one maximum security prison but two. Um, is he is he skinny like Johnny Boy Steele? You know what he's um, he's quite he's quite small in height. Thick set, and when you look into his eyes, you know that you're going to do his book and not say no. Um, <laughs> joking aside, joking aside, right? He's a very, very, very nice guy to speak to. However, some of his story will never be told. Um, but the story that we've managed to tell in that book, if you like your true crime books and you like escapism books, that is your, that is a great book to read because. Essentially, it just it ticks all the boxes, but yeah, he's just a very, 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 you know, very cute at what he does and, and what he has done. You know, you know, he's, 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 his upbringing in Ireland has certainly put him in good in good stead. It's a tough place to be brought up at the best of times, um, and you know, he certainly learned his trade out there. Again, it's it's the Dutch story. Um, if we ever get the chance to do his life story, I think that would blow people's minds. But that book in itself, the Irish criminal by Brendan Quinn is uh, it, it's definitely one that I enjoyed doing and managed to do it quite quickly we turned it around I mean in in that lockdown period in 2020 between March and October you know I actually wrote four books and you know produced six so in that space of time to turn them all around in that quick succession it tells you how easy it was to work with these people but also how easy it was to put the books together and get them out there 